It is December 21st, 2025. The winter solstice has arrived. The longest night of the year has settled across the northern hemisphere. The sun has reached the lowest point in its annual path, and for a brief moment, darkness dominates more than light. And tonight, while most of the world looks inward, something else is happening far beyond our atmosphere. Deep within the constellation, Leo, Roughly 170 million miles from where you are sitting right now, an interstellar visitor is leaving our neighborhood. We are talking about 3i Atlas, also known by its formal designation C2025N1. Just two days ago, this object made its closest approach to Earth. There was no explosion, no visible streak across the sky, no public alarm, but inside observatories, space agencies, and private research networks around the world. Astronomers were watching closely, not because of danger, but because of opportunity. An object from another star system had passed through our solar system, and we were finally capable of observing it in detail. Now, the encounter is over. 3i Atlas is already receding into the outer solar system at a speed approaching 130,000 miles per hour. It is accelerating away from us, following a hyperbolic trajectory that will never bring it back. It has become a ghost in the machinery of our solar system, a transient visitor that has already begun its long return to interstellar darkness. But while the object itself is fading from view, the data it left behind is only now beginning to speak. And what that data suggests is far more complicated than the simple story of a rock passing by. Tonight, we are going to step beyond the headlines and examine what actually happened during this encounter, and why the most important clues may have been overlooked in the rush to move on. If you want to stay ahead of these deep space discoveries as the data continues to evolve, make sure you are subscribed. We are tracking this object until it vanishes completely, and the most revealing information is still emerging. Let's begin with the trajectory. According to official tracking data from multiple space agencies, the path of 3i Atlas has been described as clean, stable, and unchanged. At first glance, this seems unremarkable. It implies a simple object obeying gravity, a body entering the solar system, swinging past the sun, and continuing on its way. But in astrophysics, simplicity often hides complexity. 3i Atlas did not originate here. This object formed around another star, possibly billions of years ago. At some point in the distant past, it was violently ejected, perhaps by a massive planet, perhaps by a stellar interaction, perhaps by the chaotic early evolution of its home system. Once ejected, it drifted. Not for years, not for centuries, but for eons. It traveled through interstellar space, exposed to cosmic radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the near absolute cold of the void. Between stars, it did not slow down. It did not become captured. It did not settle. Eventually, by pure chance, it crossed paths with our sun. And when it did, it did not stop. Instead, it pierced the plane of our solar system, skimmed past the inner planets, crossed near Earth's orbital neighborhood, and is now racing outward toward Jupiter's orbit on its way back into interstellar space. The kinetic energy involved is almost impossible to visualize. This is not a wandering comet loosely bound to the sun. This is an object moving so fast that even the sun's gravity cannot hold it. Gravity can bend its path, but it cannot trap it. And yet, despite the violence of this encounter, the most important data from the last 48 hours is not about where the object is going. It's about how it is behaving as it leaves. Observers across multiple continents have now independently reported a phenomenon that has quietly earned a name among analysts. They call it the heartbeat. This is not a radio transmission. It is not a signal. It is not communication. It is a subtle, rhythmic, fluctuation in brightness. A faint pulsing against the background stars that has been detected by amateur astronomers and professional observatories alike. 
As of December 21st, 3i Atlas appears to blink as it recedes. The leading explanation is residual heating. Weeks before its Earth flyby, the object passed much closer to the Sun. That encounter would have heated its surface, triggering sublimation of volatile ices embedded within its outer layers. As the object rotates, different regions of that heated surface come into view, producing a lighthouse-like variation in brightness. This explanation makes sense at first, but the rhythm of the blinking is where the mystery deepens. The periodicity does not resemble chaotic tumbling. It does not match random rotation. It suggests something structured. The data implies not a simple spin, but a complex rotational state. A wobble, a precession, a motion that hints at an uneven internal mass distribution. If this were a typical comet, especially one that endured the thermal shock of perihelion, we would expect erratic behavior. Jets of gas should push it unpredictably. Outgassing torque should alter its rotation. Instead, the heartbeat is steady, persistent, not artificial, but deeply unusual. It implies internal coherence. It implies that the object's center of mass does not align neatly with its visible shape. And this matters because this is not our first interstellar visitor. In 2017, Umamua arrived as a thin, elongated shard that accelerated without a visible tail, confounding expectations. In 2019, Borisov appeared as a fragile, dusty comet that slowly disintegrated. 3i Atlas does not fit either category. It is robust. It survived its solar passage intact. It shows no sign of catastrophic fragmentation. The heartbeat suggests it is dense and coherent enough to maintain structural integrity under tidal stress. And yet, it behaves like a comet. We detect sublimation. We see dust and gas in the coma. We observe interaction with the solar wind. Normally, this activity would spin an object up or slow it down. Jets act like thrusters, transferring momentum. But 3 East Atlas appears to maintain a consistent brightness rhythm despite visible venting. That detail is unsettling. It implies enormous angular momentum, a dense core that surface activity cannot easily influence. As the object fades deeper into LEO, astronomers are forced to ask what exactly is driving this heartbeat? Is it shape? alternating patches of reflective ice and darker organic material rotating into view. Is it geometry? An elongated or flattened body rotating in a stable but unusual configuration. Light curve data from observatories in Chile and Hawaii shows irregular peaks inconsistent with the spherical object. The shape appears asymmetric, but unlike distant Kuiper belt objects, this one is hot active and moving at escape velocity. The heartbeat has become our clock. Every pulse is a timestamp. Every fluctuation is a clue. And now researchers are racing to correlate that rhythm with spectroscopic data. Does the brightness peak align with hydroxyl emission from sublimating water ice? Does it coincide with X-ray interaction from the solar wind? Because if chemistry and rotation are linked, then we are watching internal processes unfold in real time. At 170 million miles away, 3i Atlas is now just a pinprick of light. But that pinprick carries the frozen history of another star system, possibly older than our sun itself. We are watching the heartbeat of a ghost. And now, a second anomaly has emerged. A contradiction. Amateur observers tracking narrow jet structures have reported apparent motion suggesting the object could be rotating once every 12 minutes. That is extraordinarily fast. For an object several hundred meters across, such a rotation rate should tear it apart, unless it possesses exceptional structural strength. But here is the paradox. While the jets appear to move rapidly, the anti-tail, a narrow dust feature shaped by viewing geometry, rotates slowly and predictably at roughly 30 to 35 degrees per day. Two rotation rates, one object. That should not happen. 
If the nucleus were truly spinning every 12 minutes, all attached features should reflect that chaos. Instead, the anti-tail behaves with near-perfect predictability, matching orbital geometry with uncanny precision. So what are we actually seeing? One possibility is misinterpretation. The jets may not represent true rotation, but spiraling outflow, gas twisting as it leaves a slowly rotating body. That explanation preserves the standard comet model. But the heartbeat brightness data aligns more closely with the rapid spin interpretation. And that sharpens the paradox. Some researchers have quietly suggested exotic internal dynamics, extreme mass concentration, gyroscopic stability, or decoupled rotational components. In engineering, this resembles a dual spin system. In nature, we do not expect this. Nature tends to erase complexity over time. Friction synchronizes motion. Tidal forces damp irregularity. For an ancient interstellar object to retain such behavior suggests either a rare coincidence or physics we do not yet fully understand. Now, we turn to chemistry. In astronomy, light is touch. Spectroscopy allows us to identify material molecule by molecule. Radio telescopes have detected strong hydroxyl emission, the unmistakable signature of water ice. This confirms sublimation. It confirms a natural process. X-ray observatories have detected an extended cloud nearly a quarter of a million miles wide, created by charge exchange between solar wind ions and neutral gas in the coma. These observations strongly support a natural origin, but the ratios are wrong. Isotopic measurements show deviations from solar system norms. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen ratios differ from those that formed Earth. This is the passport stamp. It proves that 3I Atlas is not from here. It is a time capsule. Material forged around another star, under different conditions, long before our planet existed. So where does that leave us? The chemistry says natural. The trajectory says gravity. The silence says indifference. There were no signals, no course corrections, no slowdown, no interest in Earth. If this were a probe, it did not care about us. Its path leads past Jupiter, where it will receive one final gravitational kick before leaving forever. By 2029, it will cross beyond Pluto and fade into interstellar darkness. It leaves behind data not intent. And yet, the encounter feels strangely personal. Not because it meant to reach us, but because it passed so close, carrying the history of another world, and we only caught it on the way out. The final verdict is this. 3i Atlas was not a messenger. It was a mirror. It showed us that the galaxy is not empty, that chemistry like ours exists elsewhere, that interstellar traffic is real, and that we are standing on a street corner of the Milky Way, watching objects pass by that do not notice us at all. If one day something comes that wants to be seen, it will stop. This did not. 3i Atlas was a ghost, a fragment of cosmic drift that brushed past our world and vanished. But the lesson remains. The universe is not quiet. We simply have not been listening long enough. If you enjoyed this deep dive, leave a like and subscribe. The next visitor may already be on its way.